In the past several videos, we've tested each of the products I have in front of me, and they've delivered some impressive results. Each of these has its own merits. But today, we're gonna to try a product that I've always heard will actually do some damage to an engine. And that product is none other than table sugar. When I was growing up, I was always told that table sugar, if added to a fuel tank, would cause significant damage. In fact, I was told it would cause an engine to seize. Is this myth or is this a reality? Today, we're gonna to find out once and for all if table sugar is as bad as they say it is. For the purpose of this experiment, I'm going to fill the jar up to the 16 ounce mark with fuel, and then I'm gonna add a quarter cup of sugar. I'm gonna to try to shake this up a bit to see if I can get the sugar to dissolve. There's sugar that settle at the bottom of this jar, so it is not going to totally dissolve as I had hoped. And so this, this factors into part of the experiment. So what I'm gonna do is add the entire contents of this jar to the fuel tank and just run the engine. Just like an automobile, which has a fuel filter, this lawnmower has a fuel filter. So I previously mentioned that this lawnmower has a fuel filter. I just wanna go ahead and point it out real See, quick. The fuel the tank fuel. is empty and I'm about to add the gas to the gas tank. Okay, the engine stalled. I wonder what happened here. I'm gonna check inside and see if, well, it looks like the gas tank's empty. If I see sugar crystals, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more gas and see if this engine will start. Okay, it's been about 105 minutes since the engine started. So let's take a look inside the fuel tank. As you can see, the fuel tank is empty, but there is sugar inside the fuel tank. As it turns out, it doesn't appear that sugar is going to cause any sort of significant damage to this engine, but we still need to make sure that the compression hasn't changed 
and the inside of the engine looks fine. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick compression test, both hot and cold, and then we'll take the cylinder head off and see what it looks like on the inside of the engine. Well, this is a very interesting development. If you notice, there is some buildup from this sugar. And so this sugar actually did leave a residue on the cylinder head itself. So this, this is definitely not a good thing. While it did not destroy the engine, this could have some long-term impact on this engine. The same thing as the cylinder head. It looks like there's some buildup on this piston. And so also, there's a lot of carbon on the valve. The, as you notice, the engine just wasn't running the smoothest. While sugar did not run the engine, you can sure tell that sugar has been inside this engine and this could be a problem. With this sugar inside the engine, it could have other uh, sorts of long-term impact. So if you discovered someone had dumped sugar in your fuel tank and you wanted to clean up the fuel tank and, and, and get the car back to where it needs to be, what would you do? Would you drop the fuel tank? Would you replace the fuel filter? Would you remove the cylinder head or would you use an additive? If you suggest using an additive, I would really like to know which additive you would use. Would you use one of the ones we've tested thus far? Would you use sea foam? How about Marvel Mystery Oil? And how about the B12 Chem Tool? All these additives prove to be very effective. Anyway, I really enjoy reading your comments. I hope you'll consider leaving a comment on which additive you would use and what steps you would take to clean up an engine if this was your vehicle. And finally, if you enjoy watching these videos. I hope you'll consider subscribing. I think if you subscribe, you'll receive email traffic um, note letting you know when I've published a video. But as always, thank you very much for watching the video and I look forward to seeing you next time.